Hello and welcome to the introductory video for my first ebook entitled The Ultimate Guide to Writing Scientific Thesis. I will briefly go through the contents of the book and point out what you will find and what is not covered. First off, this ebook only touches on the preparations you will have to make when writing a thesis or in fact any kind of more elaborate documents such as reports. There are lots of interesting books out there written by educational professionals that go into detail of all the psychological hurdles and the stress that you might encounter during the writing phase. Others will instruct you on the research aspects and the best way to present your data and achievements. This book, however, is solely focused on the actual writing process using Microsoft Word 2007. I do not want to talk about stuff that I don't really know and leave that to the respective pros. Anyway, let me show you what this ebook has to offer. After you open the PDF, you will find two ways to navigate through this ebook. First, clicking on the hyperlinks in the table of contents, or second, using the bookmarks on, in the bookmark bar on the left side of the screen. The book starts off with a small collection of the most commonly encountered problems, also known as frequently asked questions, at least based on my experience. And this is exactly where I hope to be different from other authors. I wanted to write a useful guide to problem solving and not just another reference manual. I found that very often reference manuals are going into so much detail that it is hard to translate the information into a solution to your specific problem and you don't really have the attention span or time to read through hundreds of pages anyway. Over time I will add more and more FAQs and the good thing is that everyone who purchased the ebook will be eligible for free updates. After the FAQ I will explain how to use this guide. Nothing special really, just a few tips and remarks. In the where to start chapter I will share some of my experience regarding what I found helpful during the writing process of my thesis and in general when working long hours at the PC. The next chapter will make you think about how you intend to structure your document. I highly recommend that you check your institution's regulations before typing a single word. Although it is fairly easy to change everything afterwards, assuming you follow the guides in this ebook, it is much less work to start the right way. While the official guidelines would probably, or even likely, set a rigid structure to your thesis, it is still up to you to make sense of them and create a decent document. I thought it might be helpful to briefly introduce the innovative design of the Microsoft Office 2007 suite, although most of you are already familiar with it by now. Additionally, you will find some aspects of the Office 2007 suite that you perhaps weren't aware of. The most important piece of information will be how to customize the quick access toolbar. Right after these introductory chapters I will start with a description of the elements that make up a Word document. It is crucial to understand how things are handled behind the curtain because many problems can be solved by knowing what Word 2007 expects of you, the user. Unfortunately a computer only does what you tell it to do and rarely what you want from it, so you better learn its language. Just as important as the elements of the document itself are the formatting options. If you take the time to define all formats up front, you will save a lot of time and have much less work in the long run. As some added bony, I included a chapter on publishing your thesis. This does not mean how to find the best printing company in town or on the internet, but how to make your Word document more portable, i.e. convert it into a PDF. This is followed by some good to know sh keyboard shortcuts and mouse gestures. Last but not least, you will find some information on how to contact me with any question or concerns that you might have, or maybe you simply want to leave some positive or negative feedback. Thank you for your interest in my first ebook. Please visit www.academia-nutcrackers.com to sign up for a free sample of the ebook.